You know, there was a time when if the Yankees were playing poorly, George Steinbrenner would get on the back pages and kind of echo what the fans wanted to hear. He would tell them that changes were coming, or he would at least acknowledge that there are difficulties with the team that need to be addressed. I don't see Hal Steinbrenner doing any of that. We've had Brian Cashman go out there a few times. We've had Aaron Boone give his normal press conference after the game where he swears that everything is okay. But we really haven't had the word of the owner. The last time I can recall hearing from Hal was when he said that the Yankees lost more money than anyone else in the pandemic. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I also remember him saying multiple championships after they signed Garrett Cole. But yet, no championships, and the team looks really bad. And yet, from the owner's box, crickets. Now, Hal is clearly not his dad. Just because you come from the same bloodline doesn't mean you're going to want the same things. It doesn't mean that he's going to be as addicted to winning as George Steinbrenner was. It doesn't mean that he's going to have that need for attention and spotlight and being on the back page that George Steinbrenner had. But you would hope that some of it would have rubbed off. I remember Hank Steinbrenner, who passed away last year, was a little bit more like that. He used to be very vocal during the winter of 2007. He signed A-Rod to that 10-year, $275 million contract, which, by the way, Brian Cashman advised against doing. So, Props to Cashman there. But the Yankees don't win that 2009 World Series without A-Rod. And even though his contract was a mess, Hal and Hank and the Steinbrenner family did what was necessary to bring him back. Now, I don't know if you can spend your way out of it this time. First of all, it's the middle of the season. This just might be a 500 team or less. We might just have to get used to that thought. As uncomfortable as it is, as fans, we've got to stick with our team through thick and thin. But I want to hear from Hal Steinbrenner. I want to hear what the organizational philosophy is from his lips. I want to hear what the thought process is behind keeping these coaches around when the team continues to struggle and underperform. I want him to at least acknowledge that Aaron Boone is not doing a great job. If you ask Brian Cashman, he'll say, Aaron Boone's doing a great job. Aaron Boone's my best friend. Aaron Boone can come over and f*** my sister. The Yankees obviously are underperforming. And when any organization underperforms, you have to look at management first. Because everything filters down within a baseball organization. The management, the front office, they set the strategy. They hire the scouts. They bring in the right pieces. Or the wrong pieces. And I just feel like Hal Steinbrenner owes it to us as fans to get behind a microphone, to take a little break from flying around his twin-engine jet or whatever the hell he's doing, and come down here and sit in front of the camera and the press at Yankee Stadium and let Brian Hoke or Lindsey Adler or whoever, Meredith Morakovich, ask the tough questions. Joel Sherman, Buster Olney, who cares? I want the tough questions asked, and I want to see him answer them. Honestly, I want him to acknowledge that the team has underperformed. And I want to hear what he plans to do about it. I don't want to hear that, oh, we're, we're, we're confident things are, we're going we're to be on the right track. And uh, we're just a, we're just a step, we're knocking on the door. I want to hear, look, we're, we, we recognize there are a few areas that need to be upgraded. And we're working to upgrade them in the next days and weeks. And if it doesn't work out, then we're going to reload this winter. And by the way, Aaron Boone, Brian Cashman need to step it up because I'm the guy who calls the shots, writes the checks. That's what I want to hear out of Hal Steinbrenner. And I just don't know if he has the cojones to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. If you really enjoyed it, check out the swag section. We've got tons of great designs to support all your favorite Yankees. And if you simply cannot get enough Yankees content, check out the podcast version of this channel, The Freeze by NYY Recaps, available wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Derek. Thanks for watching.